Howard Dindo and Harold Whitney were longtime friends. But after an auto accident, Whitney sued Dindo, blaming him for the incident. Could Dindo bring his own suit against Whitney after Whitney's claim settled? That's the question in Dindo versus Whitney. One day in 1965, when Dindo was driving Whitney's car, with Whitney as a passenger, the car went off the road. Dindo claimed the accident happened because Whitney put his hand through the steering wheel to reach for a flashlight on the steering shaft. In June of 1966, Whitney sued Dindo based upon the accident. Whitney's insurance covered Dindo because Dindo had been driving with Whitney's permission. Whitney's insurer, therefore, hired counsel to defend the suit, but informed Dindo that he should retain his own attorney as well. Dindo didn't. The case settled in 1967 when the insurer paid Whitney a sum that was within policy limits. In October of 1968, Dindo sued Whitney in the United States Court for the District of New Hampshire, alleging that he'd suffered severe injuries in the accident and that it was Whitney's fault. Whitney moved to dismiss, arguing that Dindo's claim was barred because it was a compulsory counterclaim that Dindo had failed to assert during Whitney's previous lawsuit. Dindo maintained that he didn't realize, until he spoke with a new attorney in 1968, that he had a basis to bring a claim. The district court granted Whitney's motion, and Dindo appealed to the First Circuit. In 